So far, the things I've 3D printed on my channel fall into three main categories. Things to print and sell for money, cool things that get views for money, and things to address problems I have around the house, somehow for money. Today, I've got all three of those things wrapped up into one tight little package. I'm gonna show you how I make the world's next $1 billion product so I can rightfully take my place on that yacht in Dubai with all those Insta models. I'm the Technicals, let's get into it. Once again, if you're not already subscribed to the channel. So within days of getting my first 3D printer about one year ago, I was already trying to do my own designs. I didn't wanna be locked into using off the shelf designs from those popular websites where you download the models. I needed to be able to make things that I needed for around the house, or things that I just thought were cool. Having no prior experience, I started in Tinkercad, which I think a lot of people go there because it's very intuitive, it's very basic. But after doing that for a year, I finally graduated up to well, Tinkercad, I'm still in Tinkercad. Seriously, CAD is hard. However, through the help of community members, namely Mr. Paul, thank you again, Mr. Paul, Logan at the Mountain Maker, I was able to solve a problem that was plaguing me, a problem of biblical proportions. So if you're a fan of the channel, you know that I hate clutter and I define clutter as anything that I can see with my eyeballs. So I'm constantly in pursuit of hiding things or simplifying things. This was actually one of my first designs when I got into 3D printing, a pen cup. It's a cylinder with a hole cut out, not exactly the most complex design. And this is the phone stand I've used for my desk for many, many months. It's a very popular design. It's probably the most downloaded phone stand on Thingiverse and some of those other big websites. And it sits here and it doesn't really work that well. My phone's got a pop socket on it. So when I put it on the stand, it never really makes uh, good contact and it's kind of small and you know, I could probably upsize it, but that's two things on my desk, AKA clutter. So I thought, hey, maybe I could take this, merge it into the pen cup and have one less thing. So what started out as me combining off the shelf models into one thing ultimately led to me designing this, the ultimate pen cup. I figured while I was at it, I would incorporate other things to help me clear off my desk. So I saw this, my ashtray full of USB drives. If you're into 3D printing, you probably got a lot of these. So I figured I'd incorporate a USB storage tower here so I can start using my ashtray for the purpose God intended. Marlboro Reds. Another thing too, I've got all these USB whips coming out from underneath my desk and I kind of need these to plug in cameras and whatnot. And so I figured let's add something to the side of the ultimate pen cup, a little clip station to where I can clip these USB cables in. So in trusty Tinkercad, I loaded up primitives and started booleaning, which I'm 80% sure is the term you use when you take the hollow piece and it takes out chunks of the solid piece. So after getting the rough idea in Tinkercad, I went through several iterations of just the kind of the basic concepts and moved along from there. First, starting out with basic primitives, USB tower here, clips here, phone stand, and pen cup. From there, adding in a support base here, further refining the design, making the design worse, and then finally ending up where roughly I wanted to be. From there, I slowly ventured out of the shallow end of Tinkercad into Fusion. And Tinkercad allows you to export your model directly into Fusion. And while I'm a 90 out of 100 in the looks department, I'm about a two out of 100 in the Fusion department. And I'm slowly learning, but for now, I really only use it to do things like shell design and for things like adding chamfers and fillets. Now that's not easily done in Tinkercad, so doing this in Fusion gives designs a huge improvement, so it's worth it. For version four, I removed the wide cone base in lieu of a foot underneath the phone stand portion. It's a lot thinner and chintzier than I'd like. So I removed that, made the overhang a little less shallow and kind of just brought it straight down. That removed the steep overhang, allowed me to print it without supports whatsoever. I also remember that aesthetics are at least a little bit important and this void between the phone stand and the USB tower kind of gave me a little agita. So I went back into Tinkercad, filled the majority of the void and then used Fusion to chamfer out and smooth out the remainder. I gave all the edges a fillet and arrived at what I consider to be objectively the most ingenious thing ever designed. So I print so many versions of this instead of putting it all into the CAD program and then meticulously designing it until it's just perfect and then printing it. That's just how I roll. I need to see things in real life and not on a screen, which oddly enough is the same pickup line that worked on my wife. I had to translate it into Thai first, but we got there. You pay me now? And in the spirit of my channel and myself always chasing money, I am offering this model. If you want to download and print your own ultimate pen cup, link is in the description below. I'm putting it up for $5. Obviously anyone with a public education could figure out how to design something like this. But you know, if you want to support the channel and my debaucherous lifestyle, feel free to do so now. If you at least partially chuckled or considered chuckling at any of the dialogue in this video, you are legally bound to purchase this model. 
Aside from that, how much am I gonna list this thing for on Etsy? So the model's a 0.2 layer height, two wall loops, 15% infill, which I think is more than adequate for what its intended duty purpose is. I don't really foresee any problems there. So with that, basically bamboo stock settings, it comes out to about 170 grams worth of filament. I order Elegoo Rapid PLA Plus as my main workhorse. I order it 10 kilograms at a, at a time, so it comes out to about $12 per spool. So that comes out to 1.2 cents per gram, which means this model costs costs $2.04 to print. Can we just say $2 though? After a bit of box origami, the cup fits neatly into this 1076 box and weighs right in at 12 ounces. Putting that into pirate ship to kind of guesstimate what the shipping fee is going to be from my location here to Beverly Hills 90210, which is kind of like the sample that I do for all the products I ship, comes out to just under $6. Now, I like to put free shipping on all my products because I want it to say that free shipping underneath because I do believe that is attractive to potential buyers. And so for most of my products previous to this, I would usually work backwards. I would decide how much money I wanted to make off the print and then kind of work backwards from there because Etsy's fees kind of based on that. But for a product like this, I see it as more of a volume play and so I'm going to be a little less greedy. So I've decided I want to make $5 on this ultimate pen cup and that comes out to charging $15.25. Seems steep to me but figuring in basically 15% for Etsy fees, $2 to print the, the model and $6 to ship it, that brings me right to $5. Stick around for episode two in this series where I explore legal remedies for uh, pursuing people who downloaded the ultimate pen cup and started printing it and selling it on their own. You must acquit. This is my design, the irony. So will this be the next multi-billion dollar product? Probably not, but it's a step in the right direction and clearly demonstrates that any idiot can 3D print something to make and sell on the internet for money. Whether that's worth your time or not, only you can answer. So let me know in the comments below your experience with selling custom designs. Did it work out? What worked for you? What didn't? And on a scale from eight to 10, how genius of an idea is the ultimate pen cup? I just realized I've been holding the wrong pen cup the whole time. I mounted the real one on my desk for that B-roll and I've been showing the wrong pen cup. But that's why you subscribe to the channel, right? Realism. Be sure to like the video and subscribe for more content like this. I'm The Technicals. See you next time. Try to remember my exact position because I'm going to cut to that and then I take out the ultimate pen cup and then it looks at least uh, people will be like, oh, okay, I get it. I and mean, if nothing else, this demonstrates that uh, even making low effort YouTube videos is kind of hard. Hope I got that. Hope I don't set off my smoke today. Holy Jesus, that's smoky.